We are following breaking news tonight. Newly released video shows the confrontation that led to a police involved shooting on the CTA red line back in February. A warning some may find this video graphic. WGN's Eric Rung is joining us now with a closer look at what happened. Eric. Well, good evening. Unlike a lot of police involved shootings in Chicago, we didn't have to wait several weeks to see a video of this shooting. It happened during rush hour at a red line station. And there were plenty of people there with cell phone cameras to record what they saw. Stop! Stop resisting! Stop! Stop resisting! Shoot him! No! No! Stop! Now, this is the angle we saw shortly after the shooting at the Grand Red Line Station on February 28th. The man shot by two officers was 33 year old Ariel Roman. After wrestling with the officers, being tased and pepper sprayed, he was shot apparently in the back as he tried to escape up the escalator. Now we see the other angle and him falling to the ground as other officers arrived to assist. You can even see the officers' tasers. They dropped on the escalators to chase him. The Civilian Office of Police Accountability, or COPA, says the officer's conduct is still being investigated, but they released the video now. This all started when the officers tried to stop Roman after they saw him move from car to car on the CTA, which is against city code. The confrontation started when he wouldn't stop for them. Roman spent a lot of time in the hospital recovering. He also hired an attorney and filed a lawsuit. We spoke to his attorney a short time ago. Well, his life has changed forever. I mean, since his, the shooting, he still has a bullet lodged next to his sciatic nerve in his lower back. He had another bullet uh, in the abdomen, and so he, he has a colonoscopy bag, and he's facing um, additional surgeries uh, once they evaluate his intestines. Um, and in addition to the physical trauma, it's the, the mental trauma as well. But But he's got... You know, two major bullet wounds that are life changing. And to us, it's tragic because you have a guy that violated a city ordinance going between train cars and he was clearly unarmed and without cause or provocation. These officers, with less than three years of training, used excessive and unreasonable force. That was Andrew M. Stroth, his attorney. Now, you'll remember shortly after the shooting, the mayor, Mayor Lightfoot, called the shooting disturbing. The two officers involved have been stripped of their police power pending the outcome of the investigation. We are live on the north side. I'm Eric Rung, WGN News.